five minutes of your time, four things to share. The second in our little series from Nehemiah in chapter 13, a strange little series, difficult little scriptures. Check it out in your Bible. I'm sure you've got one at home. The day's nearly gone, part 16. 15 prior to this one, this is the 16th. There's three fives and there's one. That's 16 in total. Four minutes and 29 seconds to go. Three things and then the fourth thing from a scripture which says, Our God turned the curse into a blessing. Our God turned the curse into a blessing. This tells us about the Ammonites and the Moabites who had infiltrated the enemy within and needed to be got rid of. They, they'd sown their own seeds, as it were. They'd chosen their own path, and it was wrong. And the first thing I want to share with you right now, with our four minutes to go, is our God, our God has turned a curse, the curse of the Ammonites and the Moabites, into a blessing. God can do that. You might feel like you've been born under a curse, uh, born at the crossroads, uh, and uh, indecisive in life, and the decisions that you have made have turned out for for ill and for wrong, and you're looking back. Well, look forward and ask God to turn what are curses into blessings. And that's exactly what God can do and did do and will do, not just for others. It is no secret what he can do and will do for you too. That's the first thing. Our God, is God your God? Because if he isn't, hey, you're in trouble, but he can be your God. Three minutes and ten seconds. Three things to go. Our enemy, our God, turned the curse into a blessing. There are enemies out there. You have enemies, I have enemies. Our ultimate enemy, really, our only real enemy, well, you come up with lots of answers to this, is the devil. The devil doesn't care, he doesn't love, he doesn't wish any good upon you. He hates you, he hates me, he hates the church. God, our God, can turn curses into blessings. He can stop the cursing and he can start the blessing. But we have an enemy, our enemy, our enemy. And that little plant there, that little flower that's flourishing out of the crack in the pavement. You know, there's the concrete over the top. You might feel like there's a brass ceiling over your life. You can't go any further. You can't reach up. But you know what? God can help you to break through. And I pray that that is exactly what you know in your lives. No matter what your enemies are like, because your God, our God, the only God, is able and he is more than willing to lend more than a helping hand into your life. Two minutes to go. Third thing there, from our God, turn the curse into a blessing. Curses, there are curses in life. Words count. That old saying, sticks and stones can break other words, words never hurt me. You know, words are far more dangerous than sticks and stones and bombs and bullets. They really are. The world is full of bombs and bullets, but there's far more harsh, difficult words. And curses are a hugely significant thing. We are often bound by our words and we're, we're um, hampered by them and though they become uh, tombs for us. We need blessings from God. Let's, be, let's bless others not curse others. Let's receive the blessing that, that God alone can really bring into our lives. And then lastly, with our remaining minute and eight seconds, is there are blessings. We've got our God. Our God turned the curse into a blessing from Nehemiah 13 verse 2. The day's nearly gone, part 16. Our God. We have an enemy, our enemy. We have an own personal enemy. We have a personal God. The only God, the real God, infinitely more powerful than any enemy. There are curses, but there are blessings. We don't want to concentrate on the curses. We want to concentrate on the blessings and know the blessings that God has for you. How are you going to find them? Seek and you will find. Seek and you will find. Let's pray. Lord, I pray as we have our remaining 25 seconds that we would know your blessings in our lives. Please, Lord, would you turn any curses into blessings? Would you be our God and would you diminish our enemies? Help us to see you as big as you are. Help us to see that our enemies are small and dust on the scales compared to you. In Jesus' name, amen. I know how to do it.